Well, welcome to CCTV. This is Chris speaking, your host tonight. Hey, we're watching the skies in Massachusetts at the bridge here. Um, and it is pink and purple. All I did was turn the glare off a little bit by bringing down the gamma. So it's a little, these are the true colors right here. And what I'm going to show you tonight is um, as it's just cruising through at a really fast speed. This is about 20 times speed time lapse. I use Fillmore as um, a trial and uh, I like it. It looks pretty smooth. I did it at a 19, you know, 1920 by 1080p. Down below you see uh, Planet X, Real Planet X. There's a little animation. I love it, man. Give them a shout out, Real Planet X channel. And then these other ones are from Rebecca from Facebook. You'll see her on my channel. And uh, what's happening here is real fast skies moving. It's six o'clock in the morning. Okay, six o'clock. So I'm gonna move right in. And as I get, I, I, what, what attracted me here, folks, was a little spaceship that comes in. You see this right up there on the edge of those clouds. I was thinking, those look like little spaceships, right? So I'm thinking, nah. And then all of a sudden one comes right in those. And I said, okay, let me go back. I'm gonna record this. I recorded it for four hours. From 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock, I kept three hours, and I reduced it, I think, to like 26 minutes or something. And so I'll slow it down, and you'll see a little spaceship come flying in. But down on the bottom here, on the bottom, 315, uh, one's 915, the other one is Planet X, the uh, real Planet X channel. And on his, he shows you all this electricity. And let me tell you about that electromagnetic fields, right, on these planets. If the planets have a core, they have an electromagnetic field. And so these planets are all balancing each other out. I remember they're going in and out of our solar system. They're surrounding our solar system. Um, and today you're going to see a bunch of these different planets. Um, when you think of this, we're looking southwest. You see how the orange is coming up right there? And you think, okay, the sun's coming up. Well, the sun don't come up in the southwest. Well, what, watch what happens. Now look on the bottom there, and you'll see no light from the east side. Um, there's no sun coming up yet on the east side. It's still 6 o'clock, 6.15. So down here, it's going to give you an idea of the colors, why the sky is so red. Like this, then we'll throw this orange color. Our two will be a big white reflection. See, different stages. Right now, it's a really big stage. It's had a really big, you know, and so Nibiru could be stacked up on top, it could be in the back. I mean, Nibiru moves around. It's actually the biggest planet you will see it here. And here comes a ship right here to the right of that telephone pole about 2 o'clock. And this thing comes totally into focus. Let me do a free shot when it comes into complete focus, and I'll zoom in on it. So this, this video is to show you some kind of reference with these three different models. They're the same planets with different ways it comes in. Um, I want to say this, that when this is coming in, we're looking southwest. The sun's going to come up in the east, southeast more so, right now. I've been following it. And so what happens is um, the right, left side of the sun, all the planets are stacked up overhead. I like his display down here on the left because he's showing the earth and the planets on top of us. Where you get the same thing on Samuel Hoffman's diagrams, but his has got that 3D effect. Well, up here is the real effect. And you see Istam in one picture on the bottom, Istam really big on one picture, and Istam kind of medium. Well, his, the red, red right there. That could be your Istam coming into focus right there. Yellow will be the star or the moon of Nibiru. Now, see this ship up here on the top? Behind it, that purplish could be R2, purplish. See R2 here and uh, 315 is not as purplish, but over here it's more mauve purplish. Okay, this is a ship. I think these ships come in, they're cloud builders, um, to observe, you know, everything. Activity on the street, people are awake to see this. Now, if I left the light on this as bright as it was, six o'clock in the morning. You'll see. But you see down here by this telephone pole, this thing's time lapse up fast. You see that orange thing? 
right of that, you see the white facing about the two o'clock time period. That right there is a good indication that the whole system's coming in. Right? Now over here on the left, let's see, a little bit on the left, left of that spaceship right there. It's like a silhouette of a planet. I didn't do any filtering on this. All I did was turn the lights down a little bit. I'm serious. I didn't put like any special color effects. And the way you tell that is you look at the bottom here on the ground. It looks normal and up there it looks like that. It really is happening up there. I can't change the effects up there. Now you'll see where I turn the light down, the mountains will be a silhouette of purple. That's because of the purple up here reflecting down. Now watch. Now over here on the right, about the two o'clock again, over that telephone pole. Okay, you got a lot of stuff going on. You got the OCG obstacle cluster group. You got possible system right there, the orange orange. On the left there, if you got a huge silhouette of a white planet right there, then on the bottom picture 315 there, you see that big octoon moon? It's not really big. That could be it. And you know, I, I try not to put a name on everything because these planets move around like marbles. <clears throat> now as you're watching this, you'll notice how the sky on the right starts turning blue. It will be a self-explanatory and you got your references for the whole movie on the bottom. So you go, oh I see that right there. Now the colors are created by the purple planet, by our piston. By Nepicity is kind of greenish now. It's up close. You'll see green. This one's got a lot of blue planets and red planets in it. And you'll see a lot of times our two would look like a sun lighting up. Now remember, this is southwest. The sun hasn't come up in the east yet. So keep that in mind. Okay, so let me let you watch it. I'll put a good song on and uh, hang out. You only got about 25 minutes.
guys still hanging with me? As you can see right there, at 11 o'clock in the telephone pole, that white uh, kind of silhouette of the planet, and then on the bottom there, to the left of the screen, uh, let's see, 9 o'clock, that orange planet's moved all the way over. Um, now on the right, you're going to start seeing probably some asteroids uh, coming in. Like, look at pictures on the bottom, you see the round asteroids and rocks. That's all the OCG, that's on the bottom two pictures on the right. And so you can see these coming any time. Usually I see them on that right side, that long strip cloud right there. Now it looks like on the right something's coming up. I used to think there was coming up. That's just a normal sky. What I realized is, you see how this comes down by the telephone pole from the right? Pouches in the left there. I meant to say on the right of the sun, not the left of the sun. Would be southwest. So this is the system so big overhead. Now right now, as you see this thing go happening, there's the planet on the right coming down. The white one went up. The red one's coming back towards us again. And then sometimes you see those big round silhouettes of like dark orbs. It's like this whole thing is the whole system, and it's sitting right in front of the sun. So it doesn't ever move, it's just coming at us as we orbit to the east. It travels over. And uh, you know, the sun in the winter time rides more south. Is that right now? Or not in the winter time, it rides more north. So the planets are more directly over me than if I'm watching from the south all the time. So, anyways, you look here to the right, you see how it's just cutting the blue and the pink? and the white. But that's just the actual sky. And you'll see how it gets powder blue and goes from dark blue. And then it kind of comes down in a giant flow. You're going to watch this. <clears throat> I want you guys to timestamp stuff. I don't care what it is. Like right there left of the telephone pole about 11 o'clock there's a big dark silhouette of the planet coming forth. On the left there with the telephone lines, see that orange planet? It's just moving. This is all time lapsed uh, from 28 times to 20 times fast, and you just always check for the cars or the wind. And a train does come through here in a minute. <laughs> Special, that's an extra, oh, that's free for you guys. Front row seats of the apocalypse sky. So you see how it comes down and dips? And I found all this seeing that UFO, which you see was a TRB3 with the two orbs underneath it, right? So yeah, I didn't put that in there, but I will. Um, for the telephone lines on the left there, you see how orange that is? That's got to be, um, it's got to be either piston still moving, or it's got to be, uh, what do they call this thing? I call it the moon, the yellow moon, they call it the star, um, it's all part of the OCG. Like, you see the sun sometimes crack out, but the sun is on the left of us. On the eastern sky. Now see the reflection of the train trestle? The sun's coming out. What have we been watching up there though, right? That's the system. Coming down to the orange planet, going to the left. Now, right above the orange planet, you'll see something happening right there around. And that could be, look on the bottom charts, one of your moons, one of your asteroids. Um, that could be, uh, there's two moons, but never room. Now also watch how, um, you see the dark blue coming down into the pink? It has a little split in it right there on top. I'm not doing a lot of stuff on the screen because I want you to look at the screen. See how it's coming down like a planet? It's been doing that all day. It's got a little pink cutting right through it. If you watch this thing all the way through, you'll see, you'll see what I see. You'll see the huge planet and you'll see that with a little planet in front of it. No, I'm not joking. And then uh, I thought about putting a, a sunset on this, which I caught um, today. But I think I'll let this be what it is, you know? It's okay. Hope that's helping you guys. I'm getting some info there. Maestro, we need some music here.
Man, Chris, what is that thing? And uh, I just zoomed in on it, right? No, that wasn't a spaceship. It could be the Texas Cube, which is saying is like a extraterrestrial spacecraft. But right above that thing, if you notice, there was like an asteroid ripping through. You can still see it up there. I'll zoom in on it again. But um, that is more likely like uh, three or four or five uh, debris rocks or something cruising through. If you're really watching those things all over the place, but I also think it might be the Texas Cube. But right above that was an asteroid swooshing up, going up, up the side of the dark side of that planet. No lie. Just keep watching. I'm going to zoom back in on that, all right? You see these asteroids on the right uh, start coming in. You'll see them on the, in the middle. I see when you see the, the whole thing get brighter and less, the whole system, the sun's to the left of it. So all of this that's way overhead, the sun's shining in a lot of it, and it's giving us a view. Let me zoom in again. Okay, hang on. And right above there, right above that telephone pole to the left, you guys are seeing that right there, right? Right above that. There's two, to me it looks like two asteroids. One coming from the back. This is an OCG line right here, like the whole system. Um, notice uh, what looks like a spacecraft going over now. It's it's more like two or three asteroids, a moon or something. It's all over the OCG. Um, maybe some spacecraft. I don't know. You know, but you're watching live now. You're watching. So what I think happening right there, what's really happening, you see the distinction between the pink and it cuts down. And at first I was thinking, that can't be. And I was like, yeah, that could be behind it. One big Nibiru. And then all this other planets and stuff and junk and spaceships and asteroids and OCG and Atu's moon changing sizes and all. And this whole thing just the planet, and in front of it's all the other little stuff, the object, you know, just all goes on and on and on, I don't know, you guys be the judge, um, just try to catch it, that's pretty freaky looking for southwest, we're about 8 o'clock right now on there, and it's going to just move on over, and maybe I'll throw the sunset in, okay, talk to you later.